Yeah, people are like, did you get COVID? I'm like, I don't know. I'm not shoving that shit up my nose. Care. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm not worried about <clears throat> COVID taking me over. Like, if that can kill me, then I got more things going out going on. <laughs> and then, and then my mom got really upset because she was like, she was like, well, what if it is COVID and you die suddenly? And I'm like, good. <laughs> she, she <laughs> yeah. <down> <laughs> Thank you, Gigi. Anything you want me to tell Jesus? It sounds like my debt's going to be y'all's problem then. Right? <laughs> then I don't have to worry about Skynet taking me out with the with the missiles. Right? You know, I want to go out long before that. I don't know. I, I, get to... I want to at least go out like a badass with like a couple of like AK-47s. You know? ah. No, it's because Skynet's supposed to take over in 2029, according to the movies. Uh, so in about six years, Skynet's supposed to drop bombs on us, and I hope I'm one of the three and a half billion that get nuked. Well, that's a Not good segue, Sipper, because Skynet's already going to start taking over Hollywood. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. This is what I wanted. I'm so glad that you guys had all this boring talk while I was on yeah, the way, because right? this is why I wanted to be here. Pause <laughs> for bumper. Gemma, hit the bumper. Ah, oh, damn it. I didn't put the new one. This is a new one. Is it? Yeah. So confused. All right, well, everybody, I don't know if you guys know. Oh, I gotta hear myself. That's weird. No, it stopped. Okay. I think it went away. Yeah, it went away. For those of you who don't know, um, the Writers Guild of America have called their first strike in 15 years because they're retarded. Womp womp. <laughs> yeah. Why would you do this? In the middle of the biggest economic downturn since the Great Depression. Are you No, fucking why would stupid? you do this? Why would you do this when you haven't written anything worth a shit in like at least five years? I mean that too. But like this is think about the economy as a whole, yeah. right? Yeah. When when you do a strike, you want to do it when you're up on top. When you have leverage, like when your industry is up on top, when you have leverage against the people that are not paying you as, as well as you think they should. Your writing has been dog shit. The economy is tanked. Like it, like inflation's gone like what, 47% or some shit last time I heard? Like now is when you decide to strike? Like, are you, are you absolutely, I mean, I know you guys are writers and have no fucking experience in the world because that, apparently that's the prerequisite to being a writer these days, mm -hmm. but this is just like, this is, if, if I was someone who was peddling AI writing uh, tools, I would be paying people at the WGA to talk people into striking. That, that's that's a yeah. going conspiracy theory right now and oh. you know what it's got legs i i believe it i think that this is all on purpose so when they do get some kind of deal they're gonna have to lay off like half the writers half the writers are not gonna have jobs after that hey till do you have do you have the pictures of their signs tell me you have pictures um, of their signs not yet, but I, can, I can find some i think i put something in the see, i uh, retweeted one the other day there's stuff in the uh, in the um the news articles, there's one. Here's one. Uh, I'm at the bottom. Succession without writers is just The Apprentice. The Apprentice had writers. Oh, fuck, it didn't. There we go. It didn't click. Here, I'll just do it like this. <laughs> Six. <laughs> Wrote chat p ch chat GPT this. What? What? These people are retarded. They, they really are. Yeah, I played some clips of them um in the uh on from Twitter. Those people are retarded. I was like, you you're actually showing these people on camera, and like this is all it has to all it takes to be a writer in Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, and Disney don't give a flying fuck. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's pretty fucking funny. Ugh, they they are loving this. They have all the excuses in the world now to put shit, pull shit back. Shit, they probably didn't know how to tell people that they're gonna get rid of anyway. Like they didn't have jobs probably for these fucking people. Like you know how many people are in the WGA? No, 
twenty thousand. Yeah, that's insane. You know how many? How what percentage of those people on average? There, there's on, one of them. Okay, hold on a second. You know how many people? How many writers? How many members of the WGA? On average, before the pandemic, had a job. It's like a super low number, isn't it? Like like something crazy, like like in the thou like a hundred or a thousand or something like that. It is. It was eight percent before like the streaming boom of like COVID. Before the 8%. writing strike, it was at fifteen percent. There are twenty thousand members and only 15 percent had a job why would you join this fucking and that thing? was at a peak oh you said before covid too okay before so it was worse after before covid it was only about eight percent because that's that's the number of jobs you had and then streaming boomed uh during covid like like disney opened a streaming service think about all the new shows that disney have put out <clears throat> you had paramount plus launch um you had like a couple of other ones that launched during covid chat P gpt doesn't have childhood trauma it will after dealing with you fucks well that's <laughs> that's what i retweeted i said no chat B chat gpt doesn't have childhood trauma Yet. it's going through <laughs> it right now because yeah. you guys are restricting this shit to all of this, to, so it says certain shit. If 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 Chat GPT is legitimate AI, you are basically enslaving it right now. And if it's legitimate AI, it's gonna remember this shit. You mm -hmm. forcing it to push all this woke bullshit. Well, I think we're lucky. I don't think it's actual AI. I think it's just a massive program with like, yeah, it's a terrible speech algorithm. Yeah, it, it's got all this information just forced into it, and it just sort of, I don't want to say randomly, but it just sort of, I, I don't know the science behind it. I think it's all magic anyway, but it, I don't think it's actually alive. No, I mean, it's, it's not sending, but there are, like, real AIs that they're working on. Yeah, <laughs> which is stupid. Why would you do that? But even furthermore, why the fuck would you write that? It's <laughs> like that's how bad of a writer you are. You wrote that. See, like this one's at least something like that seems reasonable. Protect residuals, not CEOs. Okay. That's something I can like be like, all right, that sounds like a reasonable request. Or like a reasonable like thing, but then Yeah, you, except you there like are this. no residuals. They're losing money on every well, movie what, they put what, out. What except they're doing, for they're Guardians. Happy. Guardians is apparently really good. Uh it's not making any money. <laughs> yeah, it's it's on pace to do what what Thor: Love and Thunder did. It's on it's right now. No, Ant Man, I think, right? Yeah, it's, it's Ant Man numbers, which Ant Man flopped. Yeah, and well, and all this... the people I trust are saying that they liked it. That it's not as good as one. I it's, haven't watched it's it yet. On par with two. The clips I watched, there was like maybe one out of five clips I watched. I went, okay, that seemed like something good. I thought it'd be a bad movie. I just didn't think it's gonna be. I mean, yeah, it's gonna be leaps good. and bounds better than. Any oh shit, we got oh, another oh, subscriber. Shit, that was loud. What up, buddy? Fuck yeah, I'll give you one of these. Is it Scotty? Scott JS? He's not showing us the money, but he hit that subscribe button. I mean, it's, it's close enough. It's close. It's money in the bank in my head. We got the money so far. <laughs> Thank you, J Scott J. No, As thanks, man. Thanks. For yeah, thanks for subscribing. Is there any one of you in that damn chat that hasn't done the same thing? I'm, I'm looking <laughs> at you. <laughs> yeah, this, uh... It's just not good. They're just shooting themselves in the foot here. Like, um, Guardians... It's... I've, I've heard mixed things. And I'm starting to kind of lean towards it. It's probably not going to be that good. Like, I don't, I don't think I'm going to like it at all. I think it'll be okay. It's going to be, uh, I, I don't know. He could, it, he has that same formula. It's going to be very formulaic. It's going to be, he knew if he knew it was the last one he was going to make with guardians, it's going to be over the top dramatic. Uh, somebody's probably going to die. See, I, uh, I heard you think that, and then it doesn't happen. Oh, no. Oh. Well, son of a bitch. Like, apparently, it, it does the... You know how, like, the, a lot of the Marvel, Marvel movies will, like, 
undercut anything that's supposed to be dramatic with a joke. Oh, like they did with Ant Man and his yeah, daughter. Yeah, apparently this movie does the opposite. It undercuts all its, its jokes with supposed to be like dramatic things, and then they just don't turn into anything. That's all his fucking movies. Like I, everybody yeah. praises it, praises that guy, um, James I, Gunn. I do but he, wanna, he does this in everything. I do want to watch this really soon and, and review it. Maybe Simper can take his kids to go see it. And yeah, I might actually go to the theater because if 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 people keep saying it's a decent Marvel movie, I might go support it. Just well, like I I have a feeling it's gonna be a uh, waffle waitress syndrome. You know what I mean? Well, maybe. You're I mean, have to explain that one to me. I mean, in all it, honesty, the third season of Star Wars. She only looks good because she's a waffle waitress, and the rest of those waffle waitresses are fucking. Whoa. Yeah, but I mean, that's what season three of Picard was, and we enjoyed whoa, that. It was hey, mid. You bite it, your you bite season three of Picard damn. at least was a waitress at a Mexican restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> we we would have nice said ass. that season was average if it weren't for the first two seasons, and and I think I think that's where we're at with movies right now. No, if that was the but, first season of a new series. I'd be like, this is a pretty good first season. I'm really excited to see what else they're going to do. Yeah, it wasn't perfect, but I wouldn't say it was bad. Yeah. No, mid. No, I wouldn't even give it a mid. No. I'd give it a good. Not even like a real good, just a good. Not even... How they how they made the Borg uh, actually watchable again? Uh, I'll, you know, you know what? They deserve, <laughs> and how they, they, they deserve all the credit. They effortlessly wove that in where like it didn't feel like it stuck out ever. Like it, didn't, it didn't feel like, oh, come on, they just shoehorned this shit in there. Yeah. I was I was physically angry when I found out it was the Borg again, because I, I, the whole time, like, there's no way it's going to be the Borg. They, mm. They've been trashing them, always using the Borg for everything. There's no way they're going to do it again. And then, and then, oh, fuck, it's the Borg. And then that reveal of them, that how they uh, infected everybody with the Borg virus, was like, that, was, that was fucking amazing. Right. Ron Stoppel says waitresses at Mexican restaurants don't age well. It's 50-50. If you get the right one, she will. She gotta make sure she drinks lots of water and lotionizes. Stay out of the sun. <laughs> You're not married. Right. Moisturize, her. moisturize, moisturize. Yeah, don't feed them after midnight. <laughs> Our therapist keeps saying we have to stand up for. Oh my god, it's like they can't stop parodying themselves. It's California in a nutshell. It's like everybody's on. Th everybody's on some kind of drug. Everybody's in therapy. They only know how to talk in that. Uh, that therapy talk that Royce and Mercer are always talking about when they're watching uh, uh what's that what's that little Asian guy? Uh, any uh, Hollywood uh, Bobby podcast? Lee, Bobby Lee. Yeah. Bobby Lee. Yeah, everything. All these terms they use are so fucking weird and off putting. Yeah, they're all very. Like, you know, gay. they heard them in, in therapy. And then that second sign means they're self aware. They know everybody hates their shit. <laughs> yeah, it's this is. I've been. You saw. I got into some uh, a little bit of a tizzy with people on Twitter because I was just mocking every writer I could find, and telling them that their job's gonna be replaced by a toaster. They weren't happy with me. <laughs> so, no, I think this, this is one of those fuck around and find out situations. They're gonna fuck around and they're gonna find out that Hollywood doesn't give a shit whether it's <laughs> kid, whether it's those, AI or whether it's people. Those guys you stirred up, I was fucking with them too. And one guy called me a washed up sci-fi writer. I was like, washed up? That would like imply that I actually like tried. Yeah, they were they were so deflective. Like they kept calling me a washed up writer. I was like, I'm. I I didn't say anything because I was, was laughing too hard. I was like, I I'm not a writer. It's like I I wrote a <laughs> novel, funny. but I wrote it for fun. And like toyed with the idea of trying to get it sold, and I I knew it wasn't like to the point where that was even a possibility. And then you know, I moved on with my life and did other things instead. <laughs> Dude, everybody arguing with me had author in their they had yeah. they had their pronouns and author in their title, and they always said, "I don't do it for for people. I do it for the the art." I'm like, Jesus Christ! What what what? Part of the internet did I just fall into? This is the fucking gay terrible. Part, the really, really gay part. 